From the Ebor City campus of Hillsborough Community College, this is Hawk TV News. This is Hawk TV News. I'm Erica Pimento. And I'm Olivia DeArmit. Our top story tonight, two store clerks are lucky to be alive after a violent robbery at a Lakeland convenience store. It happened in the 800 block of North Massachusetts Avenue. I got a chance to speak with one of the victims about his horrible run-in with the suspect and his heroic efforts to save himself and his fellow co-worker. A Lakeland man became a hero as he rescued his co-worker from a robbery attempt at a convenience store. Igor Filayev, seen here, ran over to aid his partner from a masked man, resulting in multiple stab wounds and a trip to the emergency room. Now, for the first time, he speaks exclusively to Hawk TV about his bravery and courage that day. Something happened outside. One lady, she opened the door and called me. I took pepper spray and went outside, and I saw the, my co-worker down, I saw blood on his uh, arm, and I recognized the guy. It was the same guy who came before two times. On his face, same bandana he bought from me, it was a bandana on his face. Uh, and he got knife in his hand, and looks like he want to kill my co-worker. I spray him uh, one time, he back up, and after that, uh, we start fight. I try to. Uh, I took his head out. I want to see his face. And uh, at that time, he cut me in the head and he cut my arm. Uh, and he stabbed me two times in the back. 33-year-old Derek Rainey was found later that morning, a block away, in a nearby car when police made their arrest. And although Igor says he's no stranger to altercations at the store, this is the first time a deadly weapon has been used. And he hopes management will take extra precautions to ensure this doesn't happen again. Reporting from Lakeland, Olivia DeArmit, Hawk TV News. Thursday is the day to show your Hawk spirit. School officials are encouraging students to wear HCC apparel at least once a week. So take out your favorite Hawk t-shirt or better yet, go buy a new one. There's incentive for those students who do so. Every Thursday, the Campus Bookstore will give 20% off all HCC clothing. The sale table will be an additional 25% off. Students, make sure to bring your school ID cards for a chance at even more savings. Hard to complain about the weather this time of year. Sunny skies and pleasant temperatures. How long will it last? It's time to get a Hawkeye's look at the weather. Let's send it over to our very own weather gal, Melissa Buck, with the details. What's in store for us, Melissa? Good evening, Tampa Bay. I am Melissa Buck here with the seven-day forecast. We're looking at great weather this week, so grab your bathing suits and prepare to hit the beach this weekend. Because your weekend forecast is looking sunny right now with very low chance of rain, let's hope Mother Nature keeps up the good work. Thursday's weather is 90 degrees in the high, Friday, Saturday, 89, and Sunday with the 87 with very low chances of rain. And that's it for the weather. Now sending it back over to Olivia and Eric. Thanks, Melissa. Sounds good to me. Well, here at your Ewer City campus, the Hillsborough Community College Library has gone through an extreme makeover. School officials say the renovations give the library a new 21st century feel. New additions include 28 new workstations, an expanded front desk, small group study areas, more comfortable seating, as well as TVs equipped with Blu-ray players. Of course, more magazines and books are now available for students who just want to relax and enjoy the new and improved library. If you want to check it out, the new and improved Ebor Campus Library is located on the second floor of the Ebor Library Research Center. Food trucks are the new Bay Area craze. Seems like every weekend there's a food truck rally happening somewhere around here. Hawk TV's Alessandra D'Angelo took a good bite out of one local food truck rally, and as you might find, Alessandra's review is absolutely delicious. 
Several food trucks have joined forces and started a food truck square to provide a stable spot for the customers to find them. The venture is the brainchild of Burger Culture food truck owners Ashley Kron and Gabe Sandoval, who wanted a semi-permanent spot to park their business in South Tampa. We created Food Truck Square to kind of make a home base for food trucks so we don't have to constantly roam the streets. Um, we have five primary trucks that will be parked here uh, for lunch and dinner seven days a week. Fans of uh, Burger Culture, Wicked Witches, Mr. Empanada, Tasty Stacy and the Killer Sandwich Truck will be able to gather grab on to go from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. seven days a week in the 1700 block of West Black Street, right next to Monster Lobster Seafood Restaurant. It's pretty perfect for what we want to do size-wise, plus the whole lot is marked for a wet zone, so we can have beer anytime we're here. Where can people go get a beer? Right over there in Monster Lobster, um, and they can carry it through the whole parking lot, so it's pretty, pretty nice setup. Aside from the brews, folks can try a variety of foods, such as juicy cheeseburgers, tasty sandwiches, yummy empanadas, fresh salads, and delicious desserts all in one spot. Yummy. I mean, uh, a prime rib sandwich from uh, Wicked Sandwich. No, Wicked Witches. Whenever you get a craving for food trucks, food trucks where? Right here is the place to be. And keep in mind that most vendors don't accept credit cards, so don't forget to bring cash. In Tampa, Alessandra D'Angelo, Hawk TV. Sounds like a great weekend outing. Thanks, Alessandra, for that treat. We'll be back in a bit. You know, breakdancing is not just a thing of the 80s. It's hot again in this new millennium. You may not know this, but there are quite a few breakdance battles and showcases in and around the Bay Area. Hawk TV's Argyle Neal has more. At these jams, the DJ randomly selects music for the breakers to dance to. By doing so, the breakers are forced to stay on their toes, as well as on their heads. Breakers have a chance to practice with other people instead of just practicing alone at home by themselves. Well, first of all, why TIB is because it's a great place for everyone just to come together and really, you know, get to practice. Most of the time when we're practicing by ourselves or practicing, you know, alone at home, it's not the same as practicing with people who have experience, people who really enjoy what they do. As you can see, like. All around TIB, everyone just loves dancing. And when a group of people just get together and who all love the same thing as you do, it, it creates an atmosphere that inspires you. TIB is a place for everyone, including familiar faces like Miles Fader, who was on America's Best Dance Crew. I come to TIB every Tuesday because the vibe is positive. There's about 100 dancers that come, it's for free, and it's one of the, the local spots that we can come and actually practice without getting kicked out. Thanks to TIB, Breakers are able to practice for future jams. This has been R. Joe Neal, HCC News. For more information about B-Boy events around Tampa Bay, check out bboy.org. And there's a lot of party shuffling at the Ebor City Campus, too. The HCC's dance program hosted four days of dance this semester. Local dance companies, studios, and groups were invited to share the stage with HCC students for four days of unique performances and amazingly choreographed dances from incredibly talented performers. This is just one of the many dance events held by HCC's dance school. For more information on the HCC dance program and future performances, check out their Facebook page under HCC Dance. Independent rock is exploding in South Florida. New on the scene is young musical artist Tone C. Hawk TV's Kareem Katan Styles had a chance to meet with this local rapper to talk about his blossoming career. Hey guys, this is Japan Styles. Have you ever heard of the Spanglish rapper? Well, Tone C es nueva sensación de la música rap en español. Translation, Tone C is the newest Latino American rapper in the Spanish scene. 
Check him out. New and upcoming rap artist of South Florida, Tone C, a.k.a. the mayor of Miramar, has been making a huge buzz in the underground industry. From taking shots at Ace Hood on World Star with well over 60,000 views and making someone his everything. I took a trip down to Miami to interview Tone C. Yes, yeah, boy Tone C, the mayor of Miramar, you feel me, right? So how long you been rapping for, Tone? Man, I've been doing it for, for a minute, man. I'm a decade in, you feel me? I picked up the pen when I was 11, hit the booth when, I'm 50, when I was 15. I'm about to turn 24 now, so you feel me? You do the math. Okay, okay. So, really All right. so where you from though, originally? Let me know where you from originally. And, uh, originally, I'm, I'm I'm from Panama, you feel me? I'm a Chico. You, you can't tell. You can look at you the hands, you, like, you feel me? You no, I'm working on that Latin mixtape, you feel me? Spanglish swag, look out for that dropping real soon. You feel me? I'm here. I'm working on three different pro projects, man. Just stay tuned, you feel me? That's a black Chico nigga swagging on y'all. Y'all yeah, look Espanola la misma vez, así que ya tu sabes. Van a tener un problema, you feel me? Like, right now, ASAP, you feel me? Oh. I'm saying, like I said, Japan Motion Pick. Would it, D.O.? Here's your Chico, T.O. And you see, I'm about to blow, just like I see my P.O. Got the green like G.O. And no, I'm no ASAP. Green, Japan Styles at Hawk TV News. Not only is Tony C making moves in South Florida, June 8th, Wednesday, Tony C will be performing at Costa for the Summer Jam Jump Off in Gainesville, Florida. That's it from me, Japan Styles, back at you. For more information on Tone C, check out his Twitter page, at Tone C DeMare. We'll be right back. Time to get an update on our Hawk Sports. Let's go to Hawk TV's Lauren Glanton with more. Good evening, everyone. I'm Lauren Glanton with your Hawk Sports Report. A lot of our HCC Hawk sports teams are currently looking for new recruits. Our nationally ranked Lady Hawks volleyball team will be hosting tryouts this Saturday, May 5th, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. After losing a decent amount of their roster due to graduating sophomores, the Lady Hawks basketball team is also looking for some new additions. Even though our women's basketball team did host tryouts this past Saturday, they are still searching for new recruits. From what I've been observing, there are many male students interested in trying out for our men's basketball team. They, too, also hosted tryouts last Saturday, but it is still unclear if Coach Byron Samuels found the new talent he desired. Our Hawks baseball, softball, and tennis teams have yet to set tryout dates for the 2012-2013 season. Keep in mind, pr prospective athletes, in order to try out for any HCC team, you must have a copy of a recent physical as well as prior experience in sports in the sport you are trying out for. All of these tryouts will be taking place at the Dale Mabry campus. These tryouts will start promptly at their set times. Make sure you arrive a little early to sign up as well as warm up. And that wraps up our Hawk Sports Report. I'm Lauren Glanton. Back to you, Olivia and Erica. Thanks, Lauren. And finally tonight, we want to give props to our first ever Hawk TV news team. That's right. You've been listening to Eric and I throughout this entire newscast. But it takes a lot more than a few people to make Hawk News happen. There's a big group of us from the RTV 2300 Thursday morning class who have contributed to put this newscast together over the past few months. By the way, this is the campus's first newscast out of our new studios on 9th Avenue in historic Ybor City. The new Hawk TV studio is fully equipped with new state-of-the-art video and editing equipment. It's also the location of the new and improved Hawk Radio Studios. We invite all of you to come over and check it out. And on that note, we'd like to say thank you so much for joining us this evening. For all of us here at Hawk TV News, have a great night.